Hi guys, welcome back. Welcome to the FSX404 channel. Before we continue with the most extreme airport series videos, I want to address something that will become very important to understand if we want to do the next few approaches correctly, and even more importantly, if we want to learn how to read approach plates correctly. The two things that we need to know before we proceed with the rest of the approaches are flying a hold or a holding pattern, and procedure turns. First of all, what is holding? In aviation, holding is a maneuver designed to delay an airplane or hold an airplane in a safe area until an airspace gap can be formed so that airplane can uh, proceed with the rest of the approach. If too many airplanes in IFR happen to converge in the same area, the ATC can always take one or two airplanes, put them out in a safe area where they can hold until the traffic clears up and then they can come back in and land. A hold is also done for the same reason after an airplane does a missed approach. As soon as the airplane does a missed approach, the ATC will send it into a holding area until there's enough space to bring it back and try the landing again. So in IFR, in aviation, knowing holding patterns is very important. Unlike a standard VFR traffic pattern which is flown by making left turns, the standard IFR holding pattern is flown to the right. This does not mean that every holding pattern that is flown is going to be flown to the right but it does mean that unless it's specified that the holding pattern is to be flown to the left, the holding pattern is automatically to be flown to the right. Now what is a standard holding pattern? As I mentioned before, a standard holding pattern is always flown to the right. The holding pattern always has a fix. A fix can be any identifiable point, whether it's a VOR, an NDB, a GPS point. That point can also be on a radial from a VOR at a specified distance. It can be a triangulation point, so any identifiable point can be used as a fix. The holding pattern is made up of four legs. The inbound leg, the fixed leg, the outbound leg, and the outbound end leg. Unlike a VFR traffic pattern, which is rectangular, a holding pattern has the shape of a racetrack. And from now on, when you hear me say racetrack, I mean the holding pattern shape, the racetrack. For the ease of understanding, I have given this holding pattern directions, a heading of 270 on the inbound leg and a heading of 090 on the outbound leg. Starting from the fix, we'll do a standard rate turn to the right for 180 degrees. Really quick, a standard rate turn is a turn in which we are turning at a rate of 3 degrees per second, meaning that a full a 360 degree circle will be done in 2 minutes but for a holding pattern we're only going to turn 180 degrees. So for the holding pattern at a standard rate turn from the fix to the beginning of the outbound leg or a point we call a beam it will take us one minute of flight time. Once we reach the beam point the starting point of the outbound leg for this example we will fly a heading of 090 for one minute. After one minute of flight time on the outbound leg, we'll start another standard rate turn to the right of a 180 degrees. As before, the standard rate turn will take us one minute to complete. Once we complete the outbound standard rate turn, we'll end up at the beginning of the inbound leg of the holding pattern. In this case, this will be a heading of 270, and we'll fly back to the fix. On a perfect day with no winds and a perfectly flown holding pattern, the inbound leg should take us one minute to complete. So for a standard holding pattern, each one of the legs will be one minute long. Just like everything else in flying, the holding patterns need to be adjusted for the wind, but I'm not gonna go into the wind corrections for the holding patterns right now. Another very important thing to note is that instead of timing, holding patterns can be flown using distances. An ATC can tell us to hold on a five mile leg in this case we will not time our outbound leg. A 5 mile leg means that the point where the outbound leg ends and the point where the outbound end leg begins, that point will be 5 miles from our fix. So we'll fly our outbound leg and once our DME reads 5 miles, we'll start our turn. Standard rate turns we already said are turns that we're turning 3 degrees a second. However, the rate of the turn depends on two things, on our airspeed and our bank. The faster we are flying, the more bank we need for a standard rate turn. At 60 knots, we'll need about 10 degrees of bank for a standard rate turn. At 120 knots, we're gonna need about a 20 degree bank turn to maintain a standard rate turn. So you're starting to see the problem. 
an airliner that is flying 160 to 200 knots holding patterns or approach speeds are not going to be able to do standard rate turns unless you want the passengers to experience 45 to 60 degree banks in an excess of 2 G's. So what are you going to do for airliners? For airliners, we're going to use half standard rate turns. So what is a half standard rate turn? Half standard rate turn is a turn that has a rate of turn of 1.5 degrees a second, meaning that a full 360 degree circle is completed in 4 minutes instead of 2. And a 180 degree turn is completed in two minutes instead of one. So for airliners, we're gonna use half standard rate turns and double our times.